Okay, so I'm going to go through the process of using Ecology's search to find out what water rights are pertinent to your parcel and then how to find the documents and information um, for those water rights. So I'm going to walk you through how to use Ecology's website and I should add it's not super easy and then um, resources. So your first step, you're going to just search Ecology Water Rights Search and you're going to find this Water Rights Search Guidance. Click on that. You're, you're going to select Water Rights Search and then it'll bring you to this screen. So on this screen, on the left hand side, there's the map search and you're, you're going to want to select that. There's, there's a little icon on the right that says how to video clip. I suggest you skip this prompt and using the map search is the most straightforward way to get to the information you're looking for. So it'll, it'll bring you to this screen. And we're going to want to um, select aerial map so that we are looking at a map of your parcel. And then we're going to search by parcel in the bottom left hand. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to search. Oops. One more. Search by parcel. So once you select that, it's going to bring you to Ecology screen, um, and you're going to have the choice of counties. So obviously, Whatcom County. You're going to put your parcel in. You're going to search it, and that's going to search all of Ecology's website for all of the water rights that might be a pertinent to your parcel. So you're going to select the parcel ID at the bottom, and it's going to give you a list of the water rights that they have found that are on that parcel. So in this search. It's found two claims and two certificates. So here's the tricky part. Whatcom County's GIS data doesn't cleanly line up with Ecology's water rights GIS data. I know. So it's, it's, it's tricky, but we have some filters to help. So as you can see, parcel A is the exact same shape as the water right in green. But they're not exactly lined up. They could line up, but, but they don't. And so, in a, in a general search on a water right, it should be pulled up on parcel A, but parcel B and parcel C will also pull up that water right. So, we have to do a, an additional search to weed out those overlaps. Um, we call them slivers, and we just have to eliminate that EIS overlap. So, what you're going to do, you're back to the the slide we before. If you go into the layers and legends, then um, in the category of water place of use, we know that ecology in this search found two found certificates and claims. So we're going to select certificates and claims. Under the category of administrative boundaries, we're going to select section township and parcel. And then the third step at the top, I have it circled. It's a, it's a polygon icon, and it's, it's a drawing tool. So we are going to draw inside the bound, the parcel boundary, to, to eliminate those parcels. So you're going to you're going to pull in from the boundary of the parcel, draw inside the parcel, and then it will catch all the water rights that are inside what you've drawn, and it eliminates those slivers. And now, Ecology has found one claim and one certificate. So, now that we know what's truly on your parcel, and you're going to want to do this for each parcel, and each parcel could have many water rights. Um, so, um, I just blew up this image, but in the, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's open records in WRCS, and that's Ecology's information page. So if you click on it for each water rate, it brings you to the general information page. What we were really looking for are those water rate documents. So in the far right corner, you can select view documents. So in, in my search, the example of the water rate pulled up the certificate. You're going to want to download those images and save them, print them. Um, it's up to you in this example. There's one certificate, um, and the information that we're looking, that we're going to need for that um, 
court claim form, a lot of it's going to be on this certificate. So on this certificate, you know, there's the um, purpose of use, there's the priority date, the legal description, the amount of acres that are included for irrigation, a lot of information. But I'm going to give you an example of another file. This one has 728 pages. And the difference is, this is a more complex water right, but it also shows that the last file was missing documents. Um, so there's a path for that. So just keep in, I'd like you to keep in mind that a certificate, at a minimum, should have an application, an RE, a permit, a proof of appropriation, um, and then the newspaper, the, the public notice, in addition to the certificate. And claims, they should have either, at a minimum, the long-term claim or the short-term claim. If you're missing documents, which is not uncommon, you call the other path, you fill out, you go to their website, you fill out you know, this form, submit it, the college you will then find your hard file in Olympia, and it, um, upload it to the website, let you know it's there, and for me, recently, it's taken about six weeks to get that update. So you have to know that it's going to take some time. Um, so we found how to find where your water is, or what's on your places, which water is on your places, where to find the information in the documents for all of the things that already Bill and Andy have talked about, the legal basis, the priority base, source of water, whether it's groundwater or surface water, it might be different than what you're actually doing. Um, type of use, legal place of use, the QI, QA, instantaneous, and annual amount irrigated area. And I found those that have some resources to, to help you with your search. So, you know, the missing document, the water rights, it's all from the website. They also they have what they think you'll need to get through the education. But locally, the Egg Water Board. So the Egg Water Board has submitted a public information request on behalf of all of its WIC members. It should be available later this summer. So that's all the water rights documents for the parcels in each WIC. So that, that is going to be available. If you want to find out what you have prior to late summer, you can go through the process I just walked through. Also, they've already talked about it, but the office hours of Egg Water Board. So there may be some available in May and June, but definitely in the fall, and there'll be 30 minutes sign up prior appointments, and it'll be an ESI, so it'll be myself or someone on our water rights team. We'll just help you um, take your documents and take, take your documents and what you have, um, along with the claim form that will have been summoned by them. Um, and then Whatcom County received a grant for adjudication support, and RAPSEC Consulting will be providing that support. Ecology um, has let us know they're stacking up, and they are building their adjudication support team. But AESI, ASEC, RHQ, other water rights consultants can really help in especially um, complicated that's my experience. How to find what you have in the documents to support it. 